habits that lead to wins on and off the court, I would say would, would be live with the end in mind. Um, you know, I have a picture, you guys might laugh at this, but I have a picture in my mind of, of an old black happy family with tons of kids in that picture. And, 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 I, and it's just, it's just in my mind, it's in my heart, man. And just like, that's where I want to end. So if I want to end like that, you know, if I want to end with beautiful grandchildren, beautiful great grandchildren, my family, my wife, you know, and then maybe even shoot then, you know, have a picture of some of my former players and their kids in it. If I want to end well like that, then the way that I treat people today is important. You know, the way that I love my wife and my kids when I'm grinding, when I'm working, but I, but the way I spend time with them when I'm not at work, like that's important. You know, the way I treat my players, like will my players want to know me when they leave my program? You know, would they want to take pictures of me? Would they want me going to their wedding? No, if I don't treat them right, you know? So, you know, I, I, I live with the end in mind and that's how I process every day. I want to finish well. And um, and obviously ultimately, you know, as a believer, man, when I'm done with my coaching and my life, you know, I want God to say, well done, you know, and, and he's not going to say well done if I win a bunch of championships, but he was at first. He's not going to say well done if I, you know, I'm the best coach ever, but my marriage failed. So it's like, those are the things that motivate me daily. And, and that's what keeps me going and what keeps me fighting, you know, fighting the good fight of faith. So 